Well, boys, thanks for uh, being here. And uh, uh, I think we beat a good team. I always, as I always do, uh, give credit. That was a really good team we played. Uh, really good, excellent defense. Anytime you hold a quality running back to uh, whatever it was, I think 34, 40 yards, uh, that's a great, great effort. So a great team win. Uh, we found out something about our team today to go on the road in a hostile environment. Uh, against a quality, quality football team and find a way to win and answer every drive with another drive. And when it's time to go make a play, they did. You know, from Devin Smith to the field goal kicker to the punter to, most importantly, our D-line and O-line. And, and having Carlos Hyde back and just pounding the ball, gutsy effort by our quarterback. Uh, had some miscues, but just, I mean, just the toughness. He's banged up. He's banged up and uh, just kept coming back, kept coming back. And then Philly Brown, I thought, did a great job. Uh, uh, defense, though, you can't, you, you know, if you had to say who's the MVP, that D line and uh, linebackers did a very, very nice job stopping a very good uh, rushing attack. I'll answer your questions. You got uh, your Big Ten baptism today. It had to feel different than the first four, being in a little bit of yeah. war there. Yeah, this was a war, and this was, you know, two, two sledgehammers going at each other. And uh, I know the Big Ten is. Uh, Taking some heat. That was a that was a great game. A great atmosphere. A bunch of great players on the field that are going to be playing at the next level. And that was good for college football and good for the Big Ten. Braxton, fantastic. Uh, had some turnovers, but you love, he's the best player in the field. You got I got go some good players on that field, and I agree. You know, I'm, I'm a Braxton guy. Uh, he's got to take care of the ball, but we'll worry about that. We're going to enjoy the win. We'll worry about that. Uh, you know, one thing about giving great effort. That's all I care about. Point A to point B, four to six seconds. And Braxton, of course, but a bunch of other players did that too. Too. What do you think? What do you think when Braxton goes down? What do you? Are you? Does your heart stop when you see him laying there like that? Well, uh, yeah, close to stopping, but um, you know, because I saw his knee jam right in front of me. I'm sure that showed it on TV too. But uh, you know, I just uh, I love Braxton. Braxton is my guy. Um, I got a great relationship with him. He's family now, and uh, when when something like that happens, you're like just. Yeah, I guess it's no different than John Simon. You know, John's laying there, and it's you know we're family now. I mean, we you spend this much time together, and you see what these kids do. They're family, and uh, so yeah. I mean, my reaction is, and not just because it's Braxton, but just because he's a family member. Just talk about was that? Was, did y'all see that that was timing was right? Just talk about the touchdown pass to Devin Smith. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was, like, that was my deal. And I said, uh, you know, I knew, I thought they, they were, it was a blitz a thought. You know, they, uh, they, we had some hits we didn't hit earlier. Uh, when, when they, when the ball starts getting moved against them, they blitz. And there's one of three blitzes they were bringing. We knew it. We just have to execute better. They have good corners. That number five is a good corner. And I just was kind of watching, get kind of watching. And I said, that was the right time. And uh, uh, what a great throw and catch. What a great throw and catch. And Devin Smith's becoming a very good player right in front of our eyes. Urban, did you think that? Go ahead, Doug. Did you think that your defense was good enough to come and win a Big Ten game like sure. this? Sure, absolutely I did. Uh, I thought our defense was good enough to play better the first four games. That's how much confidence I got in our players and coaches. You know, I'm disappointed like you guys, like little bend but both don't break like we've all seen. However, uh, yeah, of course I, I, I got a lot of confidence. I think we've got really, really good players. You know, do we have great players? I think a few of them. Um, but yeah, I did have confidence in them. Bill, that last drive, just grinding the ball, is that what you want this team to be able to do when everyone knows it's, they're going to do it? I think every coach wants that. Um, and against that front, when they knew it was coming, to just take the ball and end the game like that, that tells you a little bit about I told you a lot. I didn't know if we could do that. You know, I thought our defense could play it. I think we could line up and just not guys, you know, make holes and, and guys run through tackles like uh, Carlos did. I thought. To say that I knew we could do that, if I knew we'd do that, we'd have done that earlier in the game too. I mean, that was a hell of an effort. So you overcame so much, the, the injuries, the turnovers, everything. Did it feel like just one of those games to you? That was a great game. Yeah, this this ranks is one of the great ones. I've been very lucky to be around great players, some great teams. This ranks is one of the top wins. This was fantastic. So being a delayed blitz there, 34 yards. Uh, that wasn't a bunch of fancy schemes. That was man. How do you do that today? 34 yards rushing for. I think out of respect to Luke, I'll let you him answer that question. Uh, I know that we played a lot of man coverage today. We put a lot of stress on the corners against this defense. We did the right thing. Uh, at times to give up a pass or two, but uh, our guys, you know, we we extra had them. We you know man coverage. You can put an extra guy down in there, and they did it. The delay, delay blitz of Spino, though, that big third down, uh, is that a lot of what you're talking about, being more aggressive, et cetera, going after? You know, when, you, when you start having confidence in your back end players, uh, 
you know, having Roby back was certainly a bonus. Um, not a bonus, but something that uh, was a big part of why we took some chances because I thought he played very well. I think he's the guy that blocked the punt too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah great effort. Anything else, guys? If, if you knew you could stop Bill like that or 45 yards or so. If you knew, you didn't know. <laughs> would you, I mean, how confident would you have felt if you knew that going in? You could hold him to that amount. I knew we'd win. If if I knew that, then why? I mean, we're good. We'll win the game. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't not uh, pump his tires, but that's a good back. Not not many. He won't be held. I, I'm venturing to say that won't happen again to that guy. He's a good player. The road. I mean, and overcome that now. Yeah, that was big. That was a, the one thing. If I remember right, they were all in the plus territory though, right? right? If I remember Braxton, Braxton. And and Braxton. I'm gonna go I gotta go visit with Braxton. Remember that family member? He's not in the family anymore. Jeremy Hall, uh, his status, he left the game. Yeah, I got a little knee. Uh, I'll have to find I don't think it's I'll find out here and you know, I'll let you guys know. Urban, there's some games out there today that are, you know, seventy to sixty kind of games. You know how that happens in college football. You'll take this? Oh no, no. Our plan to win is play great defense. We gotta score more points than offense. But we you know that's good defense. But we uh I like a 70 every once in a while. Uh, but right now, we're, uh, we're, we're happy to be 5-0 and a chance to go 6-0. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.